how do you assess that uh, the learning programs or learning technologies whatever investment whether it's in terms of time or effort it's really reaping results in meeting the business needs so if you could shine some light on that so uh, srita i think that it starts with being clear about what the learning objective is and the learning objective for me is starting from the business objective so if i want my key account managers in europe to be able to deliver x growth on key accounts what all do they need to do they need to do tendering well they need to do analytics well or whatever you know then the learning needs come from there and then as the journey progresses every step of the way people are giving you feedback real time and saying no i couldn't this prop was not great i didn't understand i got more confused yeah. mm. and so there is that in the moment live feedback that people give these days which you have to act on but the ultimate proof of the pudding is to each of these uh, learning bigger learning efforts be connected to a business project which is sponsored by the head of the business or whoever the business leader might be so it, it has got to be so my head of europe is actually reviewing the projects for these key account managers and they're telling him how they're doing things differently how it's leading to growth in their market and so on that's the only thing and then you know then when he says when he writes to me a mail saying i just want to point out to you that this was a great intervention my people are actually doing their work differently and they're winning more tenders or they are making better uh, customer acquisition then that's effectiveness that's it it's not about how great the class session went it's eventually about what's the translation and the best judge of that are the people who are doing the role and the sponsor business sponsor